walking in the authority of the believer. We are not left here as vagabonds. We are not left here just to try and make it. No, no. And it's, it's, it's sort of sad that we as ministers have not taken the responsibility to tell the members of our congregation who they really are. Because if you walk around acting like you ain't got nothing, the devil will keep his foot in your backside. Amen. The Bible says he's given us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all of the power of the enemy. And nothing by any means shall what? No, I said saying it real solid. Shall harm us. Amen. Amen. You just got to, you got to talk tough. As I said, you got to talk tough and snuff even though you don't dip the stuff. Amen. And if you ever had a good swig of snuff in your mouth, you know you had to be good. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So God's church is facing severe persecution by the enemy. All these crazy things they're trying to do in the church now like never before. It, this has never been done. Never. Folk coming up with pranks, talking about this is what, what the Lord told me to do. Well, it ain't in the book, then it ain't what God said. Amen. If it's in the book, then that's what what? God said. He said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. He that believe it shall be baptized. He that believe it not shall be what? Damned. We don't want nobody to damn do it. No, so we got to preach the what? The gospel. So you have to know, he's not only at the church, but he's after your family too. You think them little fussing and arguments you have and it just because y'all can't get along, you got along when you got ready to get married, didn't you? Well, what's up? Y'all done lost love since you said I do? Now you don't? Mm -mm, it's the same person you married. Maybe I added a few pounds or lost a few, but still it's the same person. Amen. Amen. He hates marriage. Now, he doesn't hate marriage because of you or because of me. He hates marriage because it is ordained by God. God said, let every man have his own wife and every woman have her own what? Come, y'all know these scriptures? Amen. And nowadays it appears as though marriage is not the thing. Ain't no freebies. Ain't, ain't no freebies. Amen. Amen. You keep giving freebies, you'll be lonely a long time. You're too valuable to be allowing somebody to do something on credit. <laughs> Amen. Ain't nothing on credit. No, no, no. If you're going to pay the price, then I'll make it nice. But if you ain't going to pay the price, it ain't going to be nice because you ain't coming in here. So you have to open the door. Oh, Lord, Jesus, don't let me go down that way. But you have to open the door. I mean, legally. So we just got to get it right. But we can exercise our believer's authority over this persecution. It's sad that the church now is so hyped up on things that man has said and has come to the conclusion of. We've gotten away from what God has said. He has said, so that we may boldly say. That's what the scripture says. He has said, so we may boldly say. So when you saying what God has said, you don't say it like a little wimp. You say it with authority. Amen. 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 That's the way Christians, the church, should be communicating with the enemy. We're not defeated. And when the Bible says he has not given us a spirit of what? But of love and of what? Wow. And of a what? Wow. That's amazing. So your mind is sound. Wow. You look like it too. Your mind is sound. <laughs> so it's our responsibility to exercise as Christians authority over persecution. The bottom line, all persecution comes directly from the devil. Sometimes it's your brother, your cousin that he'll use. He'll use whoever he thinks that can get to you. Somebody say the same thing that somebody else said might not bother you at all. But when this person said it, it affected you negatively. He knows how to send them to you. So we got to rise up. We're not just talking about we got power. We know that God is not a man that he should what? 
So if he didn't lie, that means that we have the ability to turn the devil and see his tail running. Amen. 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 Say like the men and women of old, none of these things move me. How many ever? None of these things move. Well, they, they lay in off people. None of these things move me. Why? I'm a tither, and God is responsible for my finances. Amen. He has to take care of my what? Finances. Not adamantly so on God, but I'm letting the devil know he can't mess with my finances. Amen. Come on now. Amen. He said, whatever mountain it is, you, you have to talk to it. You have to talk to it. You can't let nobody else do it for you. Now, if you're, you know, little Nepeas, young, early in the church, the body of Christ, somebody else can't do it for you. But there's a day and time when you're going to have to do it for your what? Self. He told us we are mountain movers. And that's not with a shovel and a, one of those big old dump trucks, you know, in a backhoe. No, no, no. That's with our what? Words. Words are the most powerful thing in the universe. And we have to learn how to what? How to use them. Because we've been using them real ugly against other folk. But we've got to learn how to use them right at the right thing. He told us to talk to mountains. Talk to what? Mountains. You can ignore these little bit of things, but talk to the what? Mountain. Prince Nave said, did you know that? <laughs> amen, amen, amen. In order to do this, however, we must thoroughly understand the power we have been given and learn how to wield it, how to do it, how to use it effectively. Now, how many of you know the devil is a big liar? One of the things he'll tell you is that what you've been saying ain't working. He wouldn't tell you it wasn't working if it wasn't working. Hey, your neighbor, I think you can get that. And, well, I said it five times and it didn't happen. Jesus didn't stand there and look at the tree. No, no, no. He said, no man eat fruit of you. And he walked away from it. Well, the word says, as he is, so are we. What? As he is, so are we. If he can talk to the mountain and expect it to obey him, he told us we have the same rights and privileges as he does. But you stand there looking at that tree. I have said it three times and it ain't moved. No, no, It's on the tree now. Tell you, it's on the tree now. Y'all can see how you look at me like I'm crazy. But <laughs> Look, this is the word of God. It's because you get emotional on something and it's not in line with the word of God. The devil knows the book. He knows what he has to adhere to. You ain't that crazy. So we have to know how to use the weapon that God has given us. Skillfully so. Say neighbor, skillfully so. And this is in all areas of life. All areas of life. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Now, we know that trouble is bound to come. If you didn't, why don't your neighbor say, you know now. You know, like the uh, song you say, why is everybody always picking on me? Charlie Brown, y'all remember that? Well, that's what the devil does to God's children. He doesn't want anybody to know that the word works. And it's too many of us allowing the devil to see just that. And that is not God's perfect will. He says we have the same spirit in us that Christ had in him. What was that? Resurrection power. You'll rise again. Now talking about in the last day. In the time in which we are living. We might be a little slow in this area, but we got to catch up. Signs and wonders and miracles are happening all the time. Because people come with expectations. Don't come in and expect to go out the same way. You came in limping, you ought to go out running. Amen. 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 But somebody got to what? Believe. Somebody got to do what? Got to believe. Got to believe. It ain't on you, it's on God. He said his word will not return unto him void, but it shall accomplish that which he please and prosper in the thing whereunto he is what? Who did he send it to? Me. He sent it to me. And me going to use it. 
And it has to work because he can't lie. If I had said nine million times, I said nine million times. Nine million one, I get it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But too many Christians get burnt out. Burnt out, well, good. they just hear the same thing. You need to hear it over and over again until it gets down into your spirit and you got it in your heart and it'll come out of your mouth with authority. Amen. Amen. God didn't get a, the power that he had to the devil. He gave it to us. And he said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Go ye. And I'm a ye. I don't know how many other ye's up in here, but I'm a ye. So we just got to get ready and start acting like who we really are. Amen. Amen. You know, there was a saying, often knocked down, but never knocked out. Because I'll rise again. Why? Because we have the resurrection power of Almighty God abiding in us. Why? We got the resurrection power of Almighty God abiding in us. In Him we live. We move and have our being. Where? In Him. Who are you? In Him. Not them now. In Him. I mean, that's where we got to do it. That's the way we got to do it. And we got to stop walking in love. Got to stop walking in love. See, except you operate in love, whatever power you've had has been waned. And the enemy wants to keep you at odds with each other. But we have to control that. Amen. You know when people want to get a lone special husband and wife that stay in peace with one another until they get it? And then when it comes down to other things, it doesn't matter. Uh-uh, we want everything. I don't just want what he wants to give me. I want it all. You remember that song, I Don't Want a Little Bit? Oh, well, that's the wrong song. Right? <laughs> yeah, Amen. But you, now, you, what I mean, my point is, you want what? All. He said, all things are yours. How many? All. So it's enough for all of us to have all things. So you don't have to be greedy and angry with nobody else. Amen. What did David say? My cup running what? Over. You think he just wanted David's cup to run over and not ours? No, no. He wants our cup to what? Run over. In all areas of life. Amen. We're living in the last days. We're living in the days when the saints should be able to let the world see who God really is. Amen. Come on now. Y'all look like it. I don't know. Pass away. You know, the devil, the devil, the devil is a liar. The Bible says he is the father of lies. Amen. If you could not defeat Jesus, he cannot defeat you. Mm, Lord, all right, all right, all right. All right, Lord, all right. Ah, the Bible says it this way. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Doesn't matter what you're going through now. You have to always remember that the greater one dwells on the inside of you. Who does it? The greater one. Over the circumstances, situations, over bills, over marital problems, over singleness, whatever it is, the greater one dwells on the inside of me. That's why you have to do it. Just like he said, he said, say unto the mountain. He's telling you, if you can talk to a mountain, these are the little things that you're dealing with. They're nothing. They're nothing. But you look back, it ain't, it ain't moved, see? you letting the mountain talk to you when you should be talking to the what? Mountain. Don't receive none of this communication. Just walk on. And on their way back, they saw that the tree had withered that Jesus spoke to. It didn't do it immediately. He said on their way what? Back. But see, you're looking at it right now. It ain't done nothing yet. No. Mm -mm. Trees will lie to you. Yeah, nice pecan trees, and when the time comes, it ain't bearing a thing. That means it's not a pecan tree. <laughs> might not be the time, or it might be some, you know, some insect or something that's affecting it. So we got to get it right. It's time that we walk tall in this stuff. Amen. Amen. Just, we start announcing that the Word of God is true. In the circumstances and situations that you're dealing now. See, if you can't talk big while you're down here in this mess, ain't no sense you're talking about when I get to heaven, I'm talk, you're talking big in heaven, it ain't gonna happen. It's down here. 
For the scriptures, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You don't need that afterwards. You need that. Well, you know, south side, the retina. That's the fast. That's the fast. I'm not putting my hand down, but we talked right. And we understood each other. It meant a little fast. <laughs> All right. So we got to get it. It's time. We wear our armor on a daily basis. Some people take off their helmet of salvation. Some people throw away their sword of the spirit. Now some people throw off their shield of faith. I ain't got no faith. Well, God said he gave it to you, and it's on your chest. It's a shield. I like to go through there and just read about what I got. And I got, I got it on tape and on CD, and I just listen to it. I don't ever get too much of it. Don't ever get too much of it. I want to be able to say like the prophets of old, thy word have I hid in my heart. What? Thy word that I hid in my heart. That I might not do what? Sin against you. Because I'm telling you, if that word is not in there, you will sin. How did I do that? You didn't hide the word of God where? In your heart. So it's time. Tell you if it's time. So we have been given what? Authority. All authority, not just what? Some. We've been given what? Power. And we've been given what? Dominion. We are to, do, 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 to dominate our world and not to allow our world to dominate us. It's our responsibility. Now, this is how the enemy tried to do it. Under the circumstances. Under the circumstances. Why are you under the circumstances? And you said his banner over me. So you are actually under a banner of love and not under circumstances. So is God lying or is the world telling the truth? God cannot lie. If he said that the lights were not on, and we know their own. They had to go off. Amen. Because the Bible says his word will not return unto him void, but it shall accomplish that which he please and prosper in the thing whereunto he has what? Sin. Like I've always said, you got to be tough as snuff and don't even dip the stuff. You got to be tough. We're living in the last days. The last of the last days. And God does not want his church to go out tucking its tail and hollering about, woe is me. No, he wants us to be like a lion. A lion puts fear in the heart of his prey when he roars. And that's how he generally gets his food. He doesn't have to run and catch them all the time. When he roars, they freeze. And when you speak, you'd be surprised how the devil listens to you. He knows when you are adamant about what you have received and when you're not. If you're hoping and a believing or if you're operating in faith. So it's time for us to do what? Operate in faith. Tell anybody, you can do it. Look at somebody else say, you can do it. Turn to Genesis chapter 1. Amen. We're not no little Nepeus is down here trying to find out how to do things. No, we already know. He told us we had the responsibility as well as the ability to say unto mountains. Now, a mountain is bigger than any problem that you have, I know it. Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. Man. Now, not just every mountain, but the mountain that you need to what? To have removed. So what now? The mountain that you have to remove. Are you in Genesis chapter 1? Look at verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our what? And after our what? And let them have what? What does dominion mean? Rule, control. Let them have what? Dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the what? Air, and over the what? Cattle, and over all the what? This is in the book. Come on. And over every creeping thing that creep it upon the what? Amplified says this way. And God said, let us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, make my mankind in our image, after our likeness, 
and let them have complete authority. What? Complete authority over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the tame beasts, and over all of the earth, and over everything that creepeth upon the what? So if you're a creep, we got authority over you. <laughs> Amen. We have this. It's not in heaven. And he gave us a picture by looking at the disciples that were under Jesus' ministry to see what they were capable of doing to show us what we should be doing even and even greater. 1 John 4, 4 says what? Greater is he that is in thee than he that is what? So the greater one is where? On the inside of us. Don't let the enemy get you to lie. Well, I don't feel nothing. It's not in your feeling. It's in your faith. Amen. Amen. And when we start operating in his faith, stuff will change. We can change our communities. We can change our city. We can change our state. We can change this world. He says if one can put a thousand to flight, two can put ten thousand to flight. Look at the power that is in the midst of us. All things are possible to them that what? Believe. How much? All things. 